Hello, it's Mr. Eason with Homework Help for Lesson 1.2 for Go Math 5th Grade. Uh, in this section, we're talking about place value of whole numbers. In particular, we're looking at three different ways that we can write numbers. Uh, they learned a little bit about this in 4th grade. Um, we're just taking a little bit further with our expanded form in 5th grade. So the three different ways are standard form, word form, and expanded form. Standard form is the way that numbers are typically written. The way you see them, they have the place value already in there. So it's just whatever you normally would write or see on a calculator or on a piece of paper. Uh, for example, when you're looking right here at standard form, it's 1,392,000. Um, word form is pretty easy. If you know how to read the number correctly, then you know how to write the words. So when I read this number as 1,392,000, all I do is I spell those words out, 1,392,000. So if I'm going from standard to word form, all I do is I just say it, and then I have the uh, word form for it. Now, previously, expanded form for students used to be where you just wrote the value of each digit with plus signs in between. So I would write, you know, basically this bottom column, 1 million plus 300,000 plus 90 plus 2,000, or I'm sorry, plus 90,000 plus 2,000, and then I would be done. So it would be just like that bottom column with a plus sign in between each of them, like that. Um, it's a little bit different now in the fifth grade. Now we're taking the value of each digit and we are breaking it apart into the number times the place value. So for that one million, we would write one times one million. Um, for that 300,000, the digit three is in the hundred thousands place, therefore I'm going to write three times one hundred thousand. Um, this nine here it, the, um, is in the ten thousands place, so I'm going to write nine times ten thousand. And this two is in the one thousands place, so I'm going to write two times one thousand. So it just looks a little bit different. Uh, they still represent the same thing. You're just breaking it down even further to show exactly which place value you're in and which digit is in that place value. So we practiced this in class, and we're going to continue practicing uh, for homework. So now we're going to take a look at the questions we looked at in class. Um, so we had to complete this chart. They gave us the number 7,333,820. And so what we did is we broke that down. Um, it might be easier for a student to write the bottom column first because that was the old way that they saw expanded form so doing something like seven million and this is going to be really hard to fit in so let me erase and start that over here uh... seven million and then the value of that three is in the hundred thousandths place so it's worth three hundred thousand The value of the eight is in the eight hundred position, or it's in the hundreds place, so it's eight hundred. And so now we just need to fill in the top part where that's the new expanded form. So as you can see in the one millions place, it's uh, there's a seven, so it's seven times one million. There is a three in the hundred thousands place, so it's a three times one hundred thousand. Um, they give you the ten thousands and the uh, which is three times ten thousand since it's uh, there's a three in the ten thousands place, in the one thousands place there's a three so it's three times one thousand. In the tens place there is a two which means you are writing two times ten, and that fills out that chart. Uh, there might be some questions where they ask you to find the value of each digit. We talked about that with our students that there is a difference between the place value it's in and the value of the digit. So, for example, on number two, if someone were to write the word thousands, they would be incorrect because the value of that four is not thousands. The value of that four is four thousand. So we need to be careful to not mix those two terms up. The one is in the one hundreds place, so it does in fact happen to be a one hundred. The nine is in the ten thousands place, so it is a ninety thousand. And the three over there is in the hundred millions place, so it is worth three hundred million. And I have to make room because I couldn't fit it all in there. 
Uh, now, the last thing I want to point out is write the number in two other forms. Some people might get in trouble because they only write it in one other form. They do need two others. So if we have our standard, our expanded, and our word form, you look at which one they give you and you write it in the two other forms. So on number six, they give us this number in um, expanded form. So we are going to put that into standard form. So right now I see eight times 100,000, which means I know that there's going to be eight in the 100,000th place. Um, and I know that there's going to be five more digits. Uh, I don't see anything in the 10,000s, so I'm going to put a zero to be my placeholder. I see a four in the thousands place. Now I know I need my comma and three more numbers. I see no hundreds or tens, so I'll put a zero and a zero. And the last number is a six in the ones place, so I'll put a six. So that number, if you read it, it says 804,006. So the next step that I would need to do is I would need to write those words out, 804. And I'm going to try to write it really small. I don't know if it's going to fit. 804. And since that's in the thousands place, I need to make sure I use that word thousand. And then the last thing that there is is a 6, so I put a comma and I write the word 6. Alright, so that's that. Um, and I will obviously need to erase for number 7. So number 7 says 7,020,032. 7, so I need to write that in standard form and then in expanded form. So let me erase my word form here. Because I needed the room. Uh, so I have 7 million, so I know that I'm going to need a millions place. And I need 6 more digits, 20,000, so there's no hundreds, thousands. 20,000, that means that thousand words means I need 3 more digits. 32, there are no hundreds, and there's 32. And so now I need to write it in expanded form. That 7 is in the millions place, so I'm going to write 7 times 1 million. Plus, there is a 2 in the 10,000, so I'm going to write 2 times 10,000. Uh, then I need to write a 3 times 10. So that's going to be fun. Um, plus 3 times 10. And then there's a 2, so I need to put a plus 2 times 1. And I have finished with my expanded form. Sorry it's a little bit sloppy in there. It's hard to fit all those numbers in that line when you're writing with a, your finger. So anyway, this has been Mr. Eason with Homework Help. Um, good luck, and I will see you in class tomorrow.